We begin at 6 with the latest on our breaking news, a mass shooting in Monterey Park. Here's a timeline of how the events unfolded at 1022 last night. The gunman entered the Star Ballroom Dance Studio in Monterey Park and opened fire there. At 1039, the suspect then went to a second dance studio, the Lili Ballroom in neighboring Alhambra. But people there were able to disarm him before he got away in what was described as a white van. Then by 11 a.m. today, authorities tracked that van to Torrance, where after a short standoff, deputies found the man dead. He shot himself. That suspect now identified as 72 year old who can Tran in all 10 people were killed. Five men, five women, 10 others were hurt and rushed to several local hospitals. Their conditions range from stable to critical. Investigators trying to figure out a motive, not discarding any possibilities yet. And we have live team coverage. Our reporters are fanned out at the three different crime scenes across Southern California. We begin with Carlos Granda live in Monterey Park City Hall, where officials provided an update. Just just a little while ago. Carlos. Well, David, as you said, they identified the suspect. As you said, his name is 72 year old Hu Cantran, and that's really about all that we know about him. There are no other details and no motive, any kind of details of why he would have done this, although the sheriff says that's the question that they all have right now. Now, we did learn a little bit more about how it looked at the scene when the first officers went in. It was actually Monterey Park Police, and the chief of Monterey Park Police said that these were some of his youngest officers, and when they went in, it was, quote, chaos. They came upon a scene he described it that they were not prepared for and that it was extensive so that is something that he has talked about that this is what they first encountered when they went in there we all know this started as a night of celebration for the lunar new year when the gunman opened fire at the star ballroom dance studio here in monterey park the sheriff says it was not an assault weapon it was described as a magazine fed semi-automatic assault pistol that had an extended large capacity magazine and he does not believe that that was legal in the state of california now, after the first shooting, Tran then went to a second dance studio, the Lilai Ballroom in Alhambra. Police said at that location, two people fought with the suspect. They were able to take away at least one of his weapons. He then got into that white van and took off. Authorities tracked that van down to the city of Torrance, and that's where there was a long standoff with SWAT. According to the sheriff, there was a single gunshot, and then when the sheriff moved in, they looked inside, and apparently that suspect was dead of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. I can confirm that there are no outstanding suspects from the mass shooting incident that occurred in the city of Monterey Park. And although uh, that closes a portion of a very long day for all of us, the investigation is still ongoing. Sheriff's homicide detectives are working around the clock, gathering additional information and working on determining the motive behind this extremely tragic event. And no information yet about any of the victims, but they did say that they're probably older folks, 50 to 70 years old, some maybe even older than that, and they have not released any names as they still notify family members. Reporting live from Monterey Park, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Carlos, thank you. And we continue our live team coverage with Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero. She is in Monterey Park, where the community is in mourning. Christian. Yeah, we're not too far, David, from where Carlos is. Uh, Garfield and Garvey, and really right between where that Lunar New Year Festival was taking place and then where the mass shooting took place and everything changed. You can see those lights and that awning. That's a market here. Right behind that is the Star Dance Studio where 10 people were killed and another 10 were injured. Throughout the day today, though, we have seen some of the early phases of people reacting to the trauma, the grief that has shaken this community. Some have brought flowers. They have leaned into each other as this is such a tight knit community. You know, 65% of the 60,000 people who call Monterey Park home are of Asian descent, but thousands of people from many different cultures came here last night to experience how Monterey Park celebrates the Lunar New Year. We spoke with one young man who lives less than a block away from where we're standing right now, and he was also here to celebrate. Maybe the 9.13, I, uh -huh. I finish go home. Okay. My home for the next street. You live one yeah. street over? Yeah, right here, okay. it's my home. Wow. Maybe <clears throat> 10, 20, maybe. Yeah. So I think the boom, boom. But I don't know what, what happened, I don't know, but you know. But you heard. Yeah, yeah, but maybe 10 minutes here, many uh, police car. 
Tonight was supposed to be day two of that festival. Instead, crews cleaned it up and packed it away. Nico, who you just heard from, uh, de described what this community means to him and his family. He says just about everybody here speaks Mandarin or Cantonese with such a predominantly Chinese community, whether you go to the banks, the grocery stores, or the churches here, he feels, and his family feels like this is where they can feel safe. Reporting live in Monterey Park, I'm Christiane Cordero, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Christiane, thank you. This Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.